three, two, one, travel. Hello, amigos. Ceci here from Meditime Travel Solutions. Today, I want to talk to you about AI. Planning your trip with AI. Stop for a minute. I want to let you know something. I am really, really excited about the technology. AI is helping everybody and all these things about if you don't adapt to it, you know, you will be eliminated if you don't adapt it, if you don't use it. What is AI to me? And I'm not a knowledgeable person on that arena. It's a game of probabilities. Google is just Google or AI or ChatGPT or whoever you adopt to use. It is it's a bank of information and it's just pulling up with the fastest in a nano, nano, nanosecond. I don't even know what's less than a nanosecond. So it will bring you what is the answer of what you are asking. And it's just unbelievable to have conversations with it. It's just crazy scary. I'll tell you a couple of examples. Once I was checking to see at what time and when I should be able to book Tickets to Anne Frank in Amsterdam, as you know, a lot of tickets go flying. If you don't plan with time, you don't get to go and see museums and uh, places like the Vatican Coliseum, La Academia in Florence, or Anne Frank in Amsterdam. La uh, Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. So many tickets that we need to really work with time. When I ask about the time that I should do it, AI actually made a mistake. The only reason I know is because I do this for living. I do know, I have very, very fresh in my mind, the time zones of all the countries that we work with, and also a little bit of an idea on the currency, the, the conversion of the currency of other countries, right? Well, I test AI most of the time, not only because I get information, it feeds me some in, interesting points that I can then develop research myself and with my own knowledge, we can really bring something together for information. What I find very difficult is this, if I was not knowledgeable about what is the time difference in, in Australia or what more or less should be great British pounds converted into US dollars or euros, etc., I probably would trust the information is given to me. So this video is about do not, do not trust information, especially on time zones or currency converter. The, uh, I probably spot three or four times mistakes in that arena when you ask AI to convert or tell you what time is here or, what, or how many um, euros or dollars is this many. That came completely incorrect. And when I write it back, I said, this is incorrect. The change should be this immediately apologize and brings the actual right answer. So it is at this point, 2024, when I'm making this three to one video, I'm going to tell you, keep trusting the experts, human experts, not the AI experts, because the AI is simply a platform picking up. Well, they go later on in a different type of dimension and having feelings and everything that is being talked, who knows? I'm just talking about today. I'm just talking about your planning for vacations 2024 or next year. Do not trust some of the information they give you because it's incorrect. Chances are that the answer you get is the one in a gazillion uh, or one in a million that it will be incorrect, but you got that one. So you can't chance it. Keep trusting your, your travel planners, your experts who's been there, know what it, what it works for you. And those are my do's. Keep traveling. And anything about travel, give me a call. Goodbye, amigos.